I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Thank you patrons from Patreon for your direction and which way to kind of go with the uh, reactions here for this new album. Um, we've kind of decided it would be best just to do it in order. I wasn't real sure if I should kind of jump around or save the best for last or which one has the most comments. Do I do those first? Do I do them last? But anyway, long story short, we're just going to go in order. What I love about Thomas is this. He finds those elements of inspiration in things that are just amazing. Some of them are small and minute and tiny. Other things, they're, they're very meaningful, and this being one of them. He was inspired by Eugene Shoemaker. Eugene Shoemaker was a geologist and astrologist. He studied craters, he studied planetary systems, and he was credited in those sciences. In fact, he and his wife uh, co-founded the Shoemaker-Levy um, uh, Comet. So uh, anyway, very unfortunate for Eugene is that he was on his way out in the West and uh, had a head-on car collision and unfortunately lost his life. Well, his um, ashes have been taken to the moon. And uh, so they're there, and this is what kind of sparked uh, Thomas's inspiration, I suppose, and how this um, most beautiful song came about. I've not heard it yet. However, I have seen in the comments, I've read them, that I need a towel. I don't need a tissue. I need a towel. So I brought a towel, you know. Um, it doesn't even have to be folded. Just whatever <laughs> so um thank you again and let's get on to the reaction here we go okay so here we are again right We're here to do a reaction to shoemaker so the new setup is a little bit different than the other way right now the camera is here right here so we're off to the side, sort of. However, the monitor is here. So I turn, I'm going to be looking this direction, okay? So I can see I'm playing the uh, official lyric video right off of the editing software. And other than that, that should be everything. So let's get this one going. Without further ado, let's do it. All right, and here we go. pause it a minute let's go ahead and just pause it because that's what us reactors do I need to do a commentary here so what I uh, backing up a little bit I was doing a little research into this before I even took a listen and in Flora's countdown she talked about how vocally she was challenged because after a few retakes, you know, just to get the right sound because this song is rather complex with its composition and I can see that definitely. I really love Troy's um, 
uh, vocals in this. So uh, that was just beautiful to take that bouncing up and down composition and pull it back and just give that that beauty. And it is, it's kind of like a deep breath and a rest before we ramp up again. So at least that's what I am assuming it will happen. But um, anyway, let's thought I'd take a quick pause and let's just keep going here. Okay. All right. Here we go again. notice about Thomas not only is just you know the inspiration and everything but um, just a second here um, his writing is very much like prose and in some regard I think that it 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 mirrors certain things like um, I forget what century it was in but there was a, a a movement called metaphysical poetry and it kind of reminds me of that especially this one 
he does come up with with um, certain words, but the thing about metaphysical poetry is the uh, choice of words. They're written on a very high intelligent level with layers and conceits and different things that, that you use to tell this. And, and the thing about metaphysical, however, and, and it's just touching on it in, in my opinion, is that the words will be kind of like more action related. Um, or maybe that's more dissonance poetry, but anyway, I just it just made me think of that. Troy's voice, wonderful. I love the way they pulled it back. Um, I also felt that Johanna, her uh, spoken word was the part that really got to me, obviously, because it's so beautiful. And, um, and then, of course, it just kind of shored everything up, tied it up in a nice, neat little bow with Floor's vocals, especially at the end. So uh, this was Shoemaker. It, it delivers. Um, I, I don't know. I just can't wait to get into all of these. I just cannot wait now. Before I do, however, I will be doing a little bit of um, uh, background information because I feel at least the interviews. And the reason why I say that is I feel that Thomas deserves that. Okay, we need to go into this. I kind of look at some of the comments, some of the reviews, um, those kind of things. They mean something and they are important. All right, well, let's get this one to editing. Gently placed, a glow beguiles. Souls seek refuge under murky morns. Far from depth or shadowy terrain, one gaze shared and faith is found. The hours lapse, then open upward, turning cheeks from winter's stronghold. Nature's dictation for charity's case and purity reflects in apples of eyes. Though pearly shimmers may wish to hide, dawn still sails before earth feels. The earth and brilliance of warmth of edges slight, yet never distant far from the grasp of heaven. Palest of moon glow for a flower tender, ever shy by day, ever tenacious by night. So they dance below, auras of this moon and stars, embracing the whole of nature's love. 